Hey there, YouTube. This is uh, Jesse with Promo Fit. <clears throat> Just wanted to come at you with another project video. So, uh, I do about 60% of my video shooting on my iPod. The other 40% or so is on my bloggy, Sony bloggy. I don't have a flip camera, so I can't see what I'm shooting and how I'm framed when I'm shooting. And for some upcoming projects, I, I want to be able to... Uh, change how I shoot. So anyways, so my bloggy has a uh, threaded base for a tripod. My iPod does not. I'll uh, bring in and show you real quick here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this inexpensive iPod case, which fits my iPod. It's actually for an iPhone. It'll work exactly what I need to. And I'm going to attach, this is a quarter 20 nut. And I believe almost all your standard camera tripod mounts, unless it's some industrial heavy-duty thing, uh, takes this quarter 20 size and thread. So I'm going to epoxy this guy on this guy in a couple spots so I can shoot horizontally as well as vertically. And I'm going to epoxy one probably about the center here and probably off-center somewhere around here. And... That way it'll it'll give me some options. My bloggy only has a threaded spot at the bottom. So whenever I want to shoot uh, widescreen, which is the majority of my videos, I have to uh, twist part of my iPod weird like this. So um, I'm going to switch cameras and show you what's going on. So this is also a microscope. Now this guy here I got on Amazon. It's fairly compact, has a built-in LED, and this guy here will zoom from about uh, from about 160 to 200, which is uh, fairly close in. And I want to get you some <coughs> video of some different things like that. So I'm going to get started. All right. I'm going to use these guys in the future for making my own tripod stand. So you'll have to excuse the mess. I got about 20 projects going on at a time. So give you guys a little trick here. Take a plastic Dixie cup type deal. You can use some scissors. I'm going to use tin snips. Take your tin snips or your scissors, cut this guy down here. And this is just about a perfect size for a mixing cup for epoxy. It also works for like wood glue. So I'm going to take some inexpensive generic two-part epoxy. I got from Harbor Freight. Not a sponsorship of Harbor Freight. I'm going to epoxy this guy to here so that way um, I, all I have to do is hold it in one spot and I can see what I want to see. This guy here is only about seven bucks and this guy here is about nine. The bolts are the nuts are about seven cents each. The most expensive was these elevator bolts. They were 62 cents. So none of this is very expensive. 38 cents. So.
All right, so the uh, epoxy is not tacky anymore, or not very. It's not completely dry yet, but you can kind of get the idea here. So, like this guy. And it'll hold your iPod. I might have got some epoxy in the threads. Let's see. There's that guy. All right, so the next step is taking my iPod out of the old case, putting it in the new case, and just snaps on in there. It's a fairly decent fit. It's not the tightest fit or anything, but it's not bad. Turn the uh, camera on. It's got a pretty good view. The lens is obstructed a little bit right here. It's obstructed a little bit, but you can't tell in the the view. So next thing I want to do is I want to take my microscope and epoxy it onto the camera, but I need to get it exact. Otherwise the alignment doesn't work and the whole thing's ruined. So I let this guy uh, dry for or cure for a couple hours and one thing I noticed is that the is that the which the camera would focus but anyways if there you go this micro texture which is supposed to keep the uh, iPhone or iPod from slipping out of your hands works really good for the epoxy to bond to. The bad thing is is the flexibility. Let's see, focus. Let's see if you can see it. Uh, the camera wants to focus on the background. Come on, man. There we go. Anyways, you can see right here there's a little bit of white air gap. As this flexes, not that it's flexing a lot, some of the epoxy peels away. So I don't know how long this is going to last on this side here, but it seems fairly sturdy. You know, for what I'm going to be doing with it, it's fairly good. All right, so this is kind of the finished product. I have uh, my microscope epoxied in place. Uh, I had to do two layers of epoxy. I did a surface layer that joined the white plastic to the blue plastic and it didn't hold super good and it wasn't quite drying yet so I put another layer on the outside to give it more surface area to grab. Then I also went over to the two nuts. These are the quarter twenties and I spread another layer of epoxy on top to uh, uh, again just give it more surface area. Now this does reduce the amount of flexing I can do with this case. If I flex it too much this thin epoxy here will pop up. It's just kind of the nature of the beast I think. But I'm going to give this uh, probably overnight to cure before I really mess with it. And then I'll uh, show you a couple different things with it. Uh, the end of the video. Alright, so I've allowed the epoxy to cure uh, overnight. It's uh, about as hard as it's going to get. This is uh, pretty much the finished product. This is fairly aligned with the camera on my iPod. This is the type of product that I was looking to buy, but could only find one for the iPhone phone 4 and 4s but um, I have an iPod 
5. And it's got a little bit different dimensions than uh, the iPhone 5. And a lot different dimensions than the iPhone 4. So anyways, um, I'm going to uh, go away and I'm going to put the iPod in here. And I'm going to mount this on my tripod using that guy. And we'll get some uh, video. All right, so this is a piece of sandpaper uh, magnified. This is really fine grit sandpaper. I think it is 600 grit. It's not crazy fine, but it's pretty fine. <clears throat> Under uh, 200 z times zoom. Now I changed the backlighting options. I got a lamp here. Just try and, because otherwise focusing is such a problem with the built-in LED. And obviously if my hand gets in the way, it gets dark. Let's see if I can... I think that's about as focused as I'm going to be able to get on this. As you zoom in a lot, a lot of these things are crystals and crystallized. All right. <clears throat> Thanks, guys. If you want to see some more uh, things zoomed in, that was at approximately 200 times magnification. If you want to see some more stuff like that, let me know. Uh, comments below, if you can comment below with uh, Google+. Plus, uh, or give me a thumbs up. If you guys thought it was too shaky or whatnot, I can build a more stable platform for the micro, uh, the microscope to be used. And I will do that if you guys liked what you saw. And I can put a lot more things under the microscope. Uh, so let me know what you think. If you guys don't want to see that, you're not interested, that's fine. I, I, uh, I only do a, another one down the road sometimes when I see something interesting. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, and uh, remember, everything's different when you're 200 times closer. All right. Bye, guys.